Entertainment for Christmas on BBC One with comedy from Little and Large. What's that caterpillar on your head? <laughs> That's called a Moeekan. That's a funny name for a caterpillar, isn't it? Music from Val Duenikin. Hello, I'll be with you on Christmas Eve when the guests at my party will be Howard Keel, the Nolans, Sky and Wall Street Crash. Do try to make it. Variety in the good old days with Danny LaRue headlining a seasonal edition. Festive spirit spreads to the blankety blank team. Oh, this is Christmas, the season of, of goodwill and good cheer to all men. And on this occasion, I for one am quite prepared to overlook the total absurdity of this show. The two Ronnies. Drive the little trains away. We're going armor toms and nails. We've overtaken lots of snails. But only when, when we go downhill. The puzzle for Dell in only fools and horses. I mean, we're brothers, aren't we? We both have the same blood. We both got the same mother, and we both got the same father. <laughs> Just a sample of seasonal offerings from BBC One. In two minutes, international show jumping from Olympia, featuring a strong field of riders, and that's followed at 11.55 by our late film Rage, starring George C. Scott as a Wyoming sheep farmer who finds his life threatened by unexpected violence. Now the news headlines from Sue Lawley. Police and troops in the Irish Republic have rescued the kidnapped businessman Don Tidy. Tonight, Mr Tidy is safe and well and back at home with his children. An unarmed policeman who had only been in the force three months and a married soldier were killed by a hand grenade in the battle to free him. Two of the gang were caught. A thousand soldiers are now searching for the three gunmen who got away. The Irish police say they've established a definite link between the kidnapping of Mr Tidy and the theft of the racehorse Shergar. The Irish Prime Minister and the Justice Minister have now gone to visit Mr Tidy at his home. Polish police have tonight been using water cannon and clubbing members of the banned trade union Solidarity in Wrocław. They've also been skirmishes on the streets of Gdansk. Workers were demonstrating in answer to a call from underground solidarity leaders for a day of national action against the government. An Old Bailey judge has said he has considerable sympathy for a heavy drinker who had sexual intercourse with a seven-year-old girl. Judge Brian Gibbons said the defendant, William Watson Sweeney, who pleaded guilty to having unlawful sex with a child, had a serious drink problem. People like this lose their natural restraint, said the judge, who wants to find some punishment other than prison for Watson Sweeney, who was remanded in custody. The Scottish nanny Carol Compton has been freed by an Italian court. She was found guilty of two out of five charges of arson, but not guilty of attempted murder. But the judge decided that the 17 months Carol had already spent in jail awaiting trial was punishment enough. Police investigating the murder of Janice Weston, the London solicitor whose body was found in a lay-by on the A1 three months ago, are still holding her husband, Tony. Mr Weston has now been in custody for more than 30 hours, and his solicitor says he is shattered. The police say he'll either be charged or released by tomorrow afternoon. Viktor Korchnoi, the exiled Soviet chess grandmaster, tonight bowed out of this year's World Chess Championships. He resigned after losing the 11th game against the Soviet prodigy Garry Kasparov. Korchnoi had been offered a postponement of the match after he was mugged by two youths on Tower Bridge last night, but he decided to play on. Well, this is where I resign for tonight. Anyway, that's all from the newsroom. Good night. Over on BBC Two shortly, there's News Night. Here on One, a look at the weather. Tonight will be cloudy in many areas, and over southern Britain there'll be outbreaks of rain as well. Coastal regions of Scotland and northeast England will also be wet. It'll be quite a cold night, but most places should escape a frost. Tomorrow, rain over the south at first will spread to northern England and northern Ireland. The southern counties will then become brighter with sunny intervals and scattered showers. Coastal areas of the northeast will have further showers as well, but most will be quite light and there's a chance of a few sunny intervals inland. Temperatures, they'll be similar to today, as that's up to 10 degrees centigrade, 50 Fahrenheit near the south coast, and generally 7 degrees centigrade, 45 degrees Fahrenheit elsewhere. In just over an hour, our late film finds George C. Scott in a fine old rage when his lifestyle as a sheep farmer in Wyoming is threatened. First on the BBC One, international show jumping from Olympia.
welcome once again to Olympia on the second night of the Christmas show. Well, altogether, this is our 12th year here, and the mixture of fun and top-class international show jumping never more justified, because the show is playing to packed houses both afternoon and evenings, and the attendance records already being broken. Well, once again tonight, we'll try and capture as much of that atmosphere as possible. And incidentally, if you haven't caught a glimpse yet of this year's stars, the little mules from Holland, let me tell you they'll be performing in our programme just a little later tonight. But it's show jumping first, and this one's an accumulator. That's where you have eight fences on the course. They get progressively more difficult. You get a point for jumping the first, two for the second, and so on until eight for the last. And you've got to get a move on because it's against the clock from the start. Here's Raymond Brooks Ward. And the first to go tonight in the Cavazzi accumulator is Boise and Lionel Dunning, this eight year old that they bought in Germany. And with a lot of good jumping blood behind it, uh, all those German horses, we know the breeding of them, and Lionel and Pam Dunning have certainly found some good ones. This has been one of the best. Came here first as a five year old, and this is the accumulator where they jump against the clock over bigger and bigger fences and higher and higher points. And if they jump the course clear, in fact, they get 36 points. Two fences to go, and they now are up to five foot six and five foot seven the last fence. That's the wall. And Lionel Dunning is really set as a target because that's 39.32. Well, this is the horse that used to be ridden by there's the McNaught, Watto, owned by the Council of Inchcape, and now up from Devonshire again, Teddy Newbury. Great horse you may remember was Snaffles. Uh, he was a winner here at the very first Olympia in 1972 on that horse. Teddy's wife, Anne, David Coleman's daughter, of course, Another show jumper, and for the first time was the team manager of the junior British team in the European Championships. <laughs> 